So we have some circuit here. This is Kirchhoff voltage law. And this is Kirchhoff current law. And these were the more or less good written solutions. This was the question. This was the answer. And he has still asked me to solve them for them. So I did. So how to solve this circuit using these equations here? So this is the correct uh, path to do that. And this is the my path to do that. Same thing. It's more or less same thing, but I accustomed to this one here. What is the meaning of this? So, Google it to find the answer in English. Here's what it is actually. As you can see, let us first identify where is this. This is here. This is for this circle here. Zero is equal. 10 volts. This is that. This is that source of current. Minus 5 ohms times E1. This 5 here is actually 5 ohms. Minus 5 ohms times E2. Minus 5 ohms times 5 ohms times E6. So this is the voltage source and this is the as you like to call them, voltage drops in one circle that is always zero, according to this. This is for this circle here. For this circle here, we have minus 12 volts. Why is this minus? Because it is oriented, let's say, counterclockwise. And we take that to be a minus. For the voltage, for current, it's that way around. So, this here, minus 5E4. This is this thing here. And now, why is this minus? Well, because of that. Clockwise, for currents, is minus. And for voltages, is other way around. So, this is actually 5 ohms times E4, minus, plus 5 ohms times E2 minus 5 ohms times E3. It is normal standard operation. This is how I like to do it. So, this is the same thing here. We say 5 ohms times E1 plus 5 ohms times E2 plus 5 ohms times E6. I6, that is equal to 10 volts. And as you can see, this voltage here pushes all of these current in correct direction. Or, let's say, these currents are going in the same direction as this voltage source pushed them. So, that's why there is plus here and plus everywhere here. For this situation here, you have I have 12 volts that is pushing in this direction. And for this thing here, it's going the other way around. Therefore, that is minus 5 I3. Or, we say that E3. 5 is minus 5 I3. For this thing here... It's actually going in the positive direction, in good direction, in respect to this 12 volt. So, this pushes currents like this, and this is going in the same direction. And for this thing here, as you can imagine, this voltage pushes current in this direction, but this one is the other way around. And because of that, you need to place here minus. So, if you, you could use this kind of reasoning, or this kind of reasoning, is the same thing. Is the same thing, but I just like to use this. And these fives here is actually five ohms. So it just is not, it just is not written here. So that is for this voltage law. We have here one more using this Kirchhoff voltage law. That is this third circle here. And first of all, you try to write down an equation in this form or in this form without looking, and then if you cannot do that, then you know how it's done. So this one more for this voltage is, let's say, okay, this is voltage that push, pushes the current in this direction. So that this current will be positive, this will be positive, and this, as you can see, is negative. As is written here, current, current, current. And this is actually resistance. Resistance time current is voltage. Resistance time current is voltage. That, that that is that actually. That is for the Kirchhoff voltage law.
and this is the word for Kiho current law. What is the meaning of this? Some of all currents that come in some point is zero. So let us see where is this? E3, 4, and 5. E3, 4, and 5. Where is that? Where is that? Uh, that is this point here. As you can see, this current going into this point, and that's why it's positive. That is E3. Then you have minus E4, I4, and minus I5. That is for this point here. Let us see where is this from. So, 5, 6, and 1. Five, uh, that is for this point here. And as you can see, this and this current going into this point, and this current going out of that point. So, that this is written for this point. And so on. Where is this one? As you can see, E5, I5 going into this. No, this is not I5, this is I4. Where is this point? I5. I spy, I spy. Actually, that is this. I just told, talk about that. And the last one, E2, E4, I4, I2, I4, I4, and I6. That is here. Okay. So this current here, that is I4 and I2 going into the point. So that is plus, and this one going out of that point, under that cross section, and that is I minus. And now we, you have six equations and with the six unknown magnitudes. First, to simplify this a little bit, I just divided this, this, and this with five ohms. So this is five ohm, this is five ohm, this is five ohm, and so on and so forth. So here you will have I. I, I1, I2, I, I6 is equal to amperes. Why 2 amperes? Because 10 volts divided by 5 ohms is 2 amperes. And from this equation here, we came to this equation here. And now you have 6 unknown magnitudes with 6 equations. And you need to find all of that unknown magnitudes, all of these unknown currents. And when you find it, that's it. Uh, so, from here you could do it yourself, or for complete written answer, please follow the link in the description. And I did test this with the online math program, and that is correct. So, that's it for this. If I didn't say this, did I say this? I don't know. So, for complete written answer, please follow the link in the description. If you want more of this, please subscribe and tell your friends. Thank you. Bye.